Hello, and welcome to our recording on developing your network and brand using LinkedIn. As we continue to live through a digital age, online networking has become increasingly important for developing connections, learning more about your field, and discovering opportunities that might not be listed on a job posting site. Today, we will run through a few key features of LinkedIn to help you maximize your use of the platform. LinkedIn was launched in 2003 as a virtual global networking platform to allow millions of people across the globe connect and develop professional relationships. The platform is available today as both a website and a mobile app. Individuals use LinkedIn to grow their network by sending connection requests to those within their industry. After attending events such as a career fair or a networking social, connecting with folks via LinkedIn enables you to continue your conversation and keep these individuals in your professional network. In addition, when you apply for an internship or job, more than likely the recruiter or hiring manager might be researching your profile through LinkedIn. For this reason, it's very important that first you have a profile and second, your profile is updated and accurate. The content you list should parallel or even expand upon the content in your resume. Regardless of what stage you are in your career, it's never too early or too late to create a LinkedIn account and begin developing your online brand. LinkedIn enables users to connect with others across the world. This can be particularly helpful if you are looking to work for a company that has a global presence, meaning they have international offices or branches. In addition, if you are considering moving to a different state, you can search for and connect with individuals in that region before you even move. As you explore career opportunities and begin to search for internships and jobs, it's extremely helpful to connect with folks working in your industry of interest to gain a holistic understanding of the career, as well as learn strategies for becoming successful within the field. One way to do this is to message professionals on LinkedIn or through email if you have that information, and ask if they would be willing to talk with you about their career journey. These conversations are called informational interviews and they, are, they can be extremely helpful for gaining career insight as well as connections that could eventually help lead you to future opportunities. The profile section of LinkedIn is set up very similar to that of a resume with sections for your education, work experience, volunteering, skills, and more. In addition, you can upload a copy of your resume to appear on your profile, as well as to use when you are applying for jobs and internships within the platform. To further expand your connections and knowledge within the field of interest, you can join interest in professional organization groups. Within these groups, members can create posts, share articles, and interact with one another through the posts. A final noteworthy feature of LinkedIn is that users can search for and learn more about companies and organizations. When visiting the company profile, users can look up any job postings uploaded to the site, as well as scroll through and connect with employees that are associated with that company. If you're interested in working for a specific organization, this is a great way to begin networking and to get your name out there. When you create your LinkedIn profile, you will be asked to provide your email address and education background to begin your profile. In addition, based on your education listed, LinkedIn will recommend a few people to connect with to begin developing your network. Finally, you will have the opportunity to mark a few interests so LinkedIn can tailor your newsfeed to the content that might be most relevant and of interest to you. To view a profile example, please feel free to take a look at the one listed on this slide. We will take some time to review each section a bit more in depth in the next few slides. Choosing a solid profile picture truly is an important aspect of developing your account. First impressions matter, even in the virtual world, and the first thing an employer or potential connection will see is your profile picture and heading. It's important to choose a photo that is professional looking and not distracting. Choose a photo of you alone rather than a crop photo that originally contained other people. Make sure the photo is not blurry and you do not have a distracting background. If possible, ask a family member, friend, or career services to take a professional headshot of you against a blank wall or background. After choosing a profile picture, next it is key to create an eye-catching headline. Along with your picture, the headline will appear when people search for you. Many people choose to have their headline as their current job title. For students, this could be as simple as biological science student at the University of Pittsburgh at Greensburg. In lieu of listing your current position or title, consider using the headline space to use keywords or characteristics to highlight your experience. For example, aspiring marketing specialist skilled in Google Analytics and social media marketing. Next, include a summary statement that provides an overview of your education background, experiences, and career goals. 
This is essentially your 30 second commercial about yourself that you would use in an in-person networking situation to introduce yourself and highlight your accomplishments. Next, focus on adding any additional content to your education section, such as study abroad experiences, the names of clubs and organizations with which you're involved, and any noteworthy honors or awards. Finally, within the experience section, take time to highlight your on-campus involvement, such as teaching assistant, reaching research assistant, community assistant, or peer leading experiences. In addition, list any paid or unpaid work and internships. Within each of those entries, consider adding a few bullets, bulleted statements to highlight your role, experience, and accomplishments, just as you would within your resume. When adding content to your LinkedIn profile, I recommend having your resume open so you can easily copy and paste content from your document to make this process a little bit less time consuming. Once you have your profile set up, you are ready to begin exploring the various features of the platform. Based on your industry and career interests, there are thousands of groups you can join to connect with professionals that share common interests. LinkedIn also contains a database of job and internship opportunities across the globe that users can utilize. Just like most job posting systems, there are filters that allow users to find opportunities based on criteria such as geographic region and experience level. Another unique feature of LinkedIn is recommendations. Users can write a brief recommendation for someone that appears on that person's profile for others to view. In addition, users can send a request to a current or former supervisor, professor, or colleague to request a recommendation. Although recommendations are not an official reference for the job search process, it is a great feature to utilize to showcase to others that you work well in a professional and academic environment. As recruiters and potential employers review your profile, this content will stand out as insightful to them. Within your profile, you can add a variety of skills and others can choose to endorse you for particular skills. This essentially means that they are vouching that you possess these qualities. When someone endorses one of your skills, this appears on your profile next to that skill. The more endorsements you have for a particular area, it increases the validity that you do possess that skill. On LinkedIn, a connection is someone who has been added to your personal network because either you sent a connection request to someone and they accepted or vice versa. When you become a connection with someone, their posts, work anniversaries and job updates appear on your newsfeed. You can interact with these posts by commenting and selecting from one of the interaction icons such as like and celebrate. For all these reasons, LinkedIn can seem very similar to other social media platforms. Of course, it's best to keep your LinkedIn content and posts as professional and relevant to your career interests. Since LinkedIn interface is very similar to other social media platforms, it can be tempting to send connection requests just as you would send friend requests. However, I recommend to students that it is important to focus on requesting connections that are relevant to your career goals, as well as those that are currently in your network, such as classmates, supervisors, professors, faculty, and staff. When you send a, re a connection request to someone on LinkedIn, you are prompted to select whether you would like to send a personalized message that appears for the user when they receive your, a notification of your request. I always recommend including a personalized message, especially if it's someone you don't know or know well, or if it's a professional you met through networking. This personalized message provides the space to let the person know why you would like to connect and it opens the door for a conversation. The message will really depend on your relationship to them and your intent for connecting, but typically it's helpful to introduce yourself and explain why you are connecting. For example, are they working in the field you are interested in pursuing? Do you have a mutual connection that recommended that you reach out to that person? This doesn't have to be anything detailed, but it can certainly help to provide some context. Keep in mind that it is never appropriate to ask for a job or internship through LinkedIn. The conversation you have might lead to the individual recommending or sharing opportunities, but it's never professional to outright ask for one. I'm sure you will hear this many times throughout your life, but there truly is power in networking. Many opportunities are in what is called a hidden market, which means they're not actually posted online. So how do you even go about discovering a job or internship if it's not even posted online? You guessed it, through networking. Connecting with folks that have a large network exponentially increases your ability of reaching out to additional people. For example, when you connect with someone, you become their first tier and a second tier with all of their connections. As a second tier, you can send messages. 
Building connections with others truly creates a domino effect and opens many doors for building relationships that could lead to landing opportunities or simply learning and growing within your field. As you are beginning to develop your connections, it can be helpful to start with a commonality such as alumni because you have an immediate bond. Alumni might also be more likely to want to help mentor and guide students because they can remember what it was like to be in your position. Just like you can search for different organizations and companies online and look for employees that work for those organizations, you can do the same thing for universities. To connect with Pitt Greensburg alumni, type University of Pittsburgh at Greensburg into the search feature. On the Pitt Greensburg page, select alumni on the left side. From there, you can search through alumni using keywords or filters. This can be a convenient way to find peers and alumni with whom you would like to connect and learn more about different fields. While we're on the topic of utilizing social networking platforms, it's important to think about your overall online presence and brand. You might be surprised to see what appears when you search for yourself on the internet. Many recruiters report using search engines and social media platforms to research candidates before they even consider hiring them. Although many people have privacy settings on their profiles, these settings are not always completely protective. For that reason, it's very important to clean up your social media. Any inappropriate pictures, captions, or videos might become red flags to potential employers. To develop your personal brand, consider how you would like others to perceive your social media accounts. If you're pursuing a career in communications or design, showcase your work on your LinkedIn profile and consider adding creativity to your business card in any other online profiles or portfolios. Consider what you want others to think about when they search for you on the internet view your LinkedIn, or explore any other social media accounts. Customize your headline and summary on LinkedIn to reflect this, and consider purging your pictures and posts on social media that might not reflect how you would like to appear. Thank you very much for taking the time to listen to our overview of LinkedIn and developing your online brand. Since LinkedIn is such a well-developed system, this is certainly not an all-encompassing breakdown of all the features. If you'd like to talk with one of us about creating and using LinkedIn, we're certainly happy to help. Please feel free to contact any one of us via phone or email with any questions or to set up a meeting.